All right, today we're talking about my favorite props as of right now for the DJI FPV drone. I've been using them for over two weeks and I'm finally ready to talk about them. Let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here, you're watching Original Dobo, and if this is the first time here on this channel, and I haven't asked this in a really long time, and you've been getting any amount of use out of the videos and content I've been creating, hit the subscribe button. It, it helps out actually quite a bit. All right, today we're talking about the Gemfan Hurricane 5236. It's a bit of a mouthful but these props I've been using for over two weeks time. Now these came to me as a recommendation after I did the update video, I was using a different set of gem fan props that were a bit more aggressive and they flew well. However, we did have some issues with those props such as they were triggering some sort of warning from the DJI system telling me that it was drawing too many amps. So gem fan reached out to me and they said, hey, do you wanna take a look at these hurricane props? It's a better fit for this drone. So what we have here is a prop that is five by two. It has a 3.6 inch prop. So not quite as aggressive as the previous props I was using, but aggressive enough to make a big enough difference in the overall performance. Now things I like about this prop is that it performs exceptionally well. The response from them is great with these. Even though the fact that we can't tune any sort of PIDs on this, you do still get a certain amount of I guess, response from the props that you do use. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the flight footage. All right, so straight out of the gate, I will tell you that where I'm flying and testing this, you just shouldn't do this here. You just should not test this drone in any sort of urban setting like about what I'm gonna do. This is freestyle flight, and I sort of gravitate towards that freestyle flight but that doesn't mean necessarily that you should do the same. Now, I did go ahead and put this in 4K60 at the highest quality. I'm running a camera tilt of 15 degrees. Now, I chose 15 degrees because I wanted to keep it a little less aggressive and really control that speed. Anything over 20 degrees tilt, you're gonna notice that the quad is moving really quick. And in a situation like this where I need a little bit more precision, 15 degree tilt worked out really well. Now, I'm really trying to overstress these props to try to get any sort of throbble out of it or any sort of washout. And that's where you sort of capture that dirty air that the, uh, the craft has produced and you get sort of that vibration and oscillation um, that will tend to come through. Now, from the point that I started flying this with my new rates, uh, I felt like it performed really well. Like there were some times where I really just asked more of the drone than the drone could deliver. And I got a little bit of that sort of vibration when I really came down to zero throttle. But for the most part, I feel like these props really did a good job. I had a good amount of precision and control. And again, this is a freestyle flight. This is not gonna be something like cinematic where the vast majority of you are probably going to be flying. In those instances, these props will be super smooth throughout the entire duration. So you don't have to worry about any of those crazy vibrations. I had zero issues with these whatsoever. You can see as I come over the split S, I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. So in order to help me, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Three, two, one. Yeah, we, we made it. We, di we didn't crash, obviously, because I'm still holding the drone in my hand. So thank you. If you didn't hit the like button, I probably would have wrapped. Um, yeah, I mean, flight time took a little bit of a hit. The more aggressive you fly, the more detriment it's going to do to the battery. But I think all in all, um, I, I really don't have any complaints on these props. They're also really durable. I noticed a couple of times throughout the week um, I hit some tree branches and I was just able to bend the prop right back into place. I like the fact that there's an assortment of colors so you can sort of color match this to whatever you want. I've sort of got mine done up like the Joker. I mean, that's quite literally what this is. The purple and green scheme across the board with my uh, battery covers and everything. I, I think that looks really great. 
Speaking of battery covers and 3D prints, if you wanna get your hands on these prints, you want a helmet or a 3PV mount, we have them in our store. It's originaldobostore.com. That's where you can find the vast majority of accessories that you see on this drone, such as our lime green covers or our helmets and our 3PV mounts. Our helmets that are able to hold a GoPro Hero 9 are working perfectly with Real Steady. So if you've tried other solutions before and found that there was vibration, I encourage you to try one of these mounts. As long as you use a Hero 9, Hero 8, or Hero 6, you will have amazing performance and zero jello. All right, that's gonna do it. I'll leave you with some more flight footage and I will see you in the next video. Stay original. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Maybe baby this will fly Drinking themselves crazy tonight. <laughs> Maybe I should call and say, Told you I'd be right. Wondering how long it was before you realized the biggest mistake of your life, and now you're paying the price. Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing. You're paying them now, you know just what I'm choosing. I gotta do this, cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. These voices in my head get loud and they